Hello everyone, this is Joseph the Blu-ray and DVD fan here and today I'm going to be doing my Blu-ray and DVD update for July 2019. Uh, so let's begin first of all with the Blu-rays. First up we have Bumblebee. It's the Transformers spin-off movie, which I quite enjoy to be honest. Quite rewatchable in some areas. And I do like Charlie Watson as Hayley Steinfield with John Cena as Agent Burns. He was quite good in this film as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely regret not picking this up on Blu-ray. Very rewatchable and definitely the most superior films to Transformers up there with the original Transformers and Dark the Moon. Most coming of age film. Yep, come in the close second. Uh, but yeah, very good spin-off. I highly recommend. So that is Bumblebee. Next up we have a couple of George Clooney films, beginning with Up in the Air, which I watched about six years ago, and uh, I forgot what it was about, so I had to pick it up. I picked it up for a pound in CEX, and yeah. Anyway, that is up in the air and then we have gravity um, to be honest not the best film but uh, alright I guess but quite generic but yeah that is gravity next up we have Wreck-It Ralph um, which I haven't picked up Ralph Breaks the Internet um, I found this in CEX for three pounds, was it? Yeah. And, yeah. I saw this a couple of weeks ago, and it was very good. Um, yeah. I do really like Wreck-It Ralph. Very cool. And I might get or gonna grab uh, Ralph Breaks Internet at some point, so... Yeah, I do really like Wreck-It Ralph, so, yeah, anyway, that is Wreck-It Ralph, overall a very good Disney film. Next up we have Spielberg's Ready Player One, um, which I got for about six quid in CEX, um, and yeah, it was overall quite a good film. Not a favourite as such, but it's still very good. Uh, for Steven Spielberg, one of my favourite directors, coming of age. And, yeah, oh, I do like the CGI's on here. And, yeah, very entertaining. So that is Spielberg's Ready Player One. Next up we have A Million Ways to Die in the West. Um, from the guys that brought you Ted. And I think overall, it's much better than Ted, in my opinion. Yeah, just good aspects, especially me Neeson as a good actor. It was quite good seeming that. And yeah. I definitely recommend picking this up on Blu ray. So that is A Million Ways to Die in the West. Next up we have 21 at Jump Street which I've upgraded from DVD to Blu-ray. I picked this up for a pound, I just got this today from CEX uh, with the next title I'm going to show. Um, and yeah, overall it's quite good when I watched it on DVD and I will sell the DVD. I did have 22 Jump Street which I featured in an update um, not too long ago. Like ages ago, um, but yeah, 21 Jump Street. Yeah, it's good, but yeah, I'm looking forward to watching it on Blu ray quality to see if it is good, it will still be just as good. So, anyway, that is 21 Jump Street. And the last four Blu rays I have to show, I actually haven't seen any of. Um, we begin with Kick Ass, a comedy, a comedy movie. And, yeah, I do quite like Kick-Ass, um, yeah, I've seen this on DVD and upgraded to Blu-ray, 
I had this on DVD a couple of years ago, uh, but I upgraded it because I had uh, Kick-Ass 2 on here. So, yo, I can't wait to watch this on Blu-ray quality, so that is Kick-Ass. And then we have Kick-Ass 2, um, yeah, which I'm looking forward to watching as well. Um, that's, that's that. Next up we have Nicolas Cage in Knowing. Um, uh... I do quite like this film. I'm a fan of Nicolas Cage, so I picked it up. So that is Nicolas Cage in Knowing. And finally for the Blu-rays, we have The Wolf of Wall Street. Um, looks good for Leonardo DiCaprio, and yeah, looking forward to watching it. So that is The Wolf of Wall Street. Now let's move on to the DVD. Moving on to the DVDs, first we have The Lego Movie 2, the second part. Um... This is this worth the nearly five year wait? I definitely think so. It was very intriguing and very entertaining sequel at that. Um, yeah, I do like the sequel. Um, a lot more going on in the sequel. Even though I do really like the first film, that was quite that was really good. However, the se the sequel was alright. Yeah, quite entertaining. Not as good as the first Lego movie, but still very good. Um, I really do like Una Kitty in this film, especially Emmett and Batman in here. Um, but yeah, certainly a great film. I do really like to watch again at some point. Um, but yeah, that is the Lego movie 2. Next up we have 2001 A Space Odyssey, um, yeah, it's directed by Stanley Kubrick, I'm not a big fan of Stanley Kubrick's films, um, but I do like this film, there's some films I don't really like, The Shining, Clockwork Orange, well I won't, I'm not old enough for those yet, but I will get them when I'm old enough, so, yeah that is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Next up we have a couple of Marvel movies, beginning with one of their most recent releases, and that is Captain Marvel. Um, yeah, I haven't watched this yet, um, but I will do it at some point. Oh, I do plan to watch it at the weekend, so yeah, I will feature this in a future update video if I like it enough to talk about it. So that is Captain Marvel. Next up we have Black Panther, which I got uh, from my dad, that's the last MCU film I got. Um, yeah, it's quite good, quite good things, so yeah, that is Black Panther. Next up we have William Shakespeare and Romeo and Juliet, I wish I uh, watched this film and... Uh, did a lesson in it in English class, so yeah, I got his film, and yeah, I really do like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm a huge fan of his films, so yeah, and I really do like this film, very interesting, and some great acting in this, so that is Romeo and Juliet. Next we have The Pursuit of Happiness, starring Will Smith. I haven't watched this as of yet, but I'm looking forward to doing so. And then next up for movies, we have Adam Sandler in Spanglish. Another one I haven't watched yet, but it looks cool to watch. So, that is Adam Sandler in Spanglish. Next up we have Top Gear, The Perfect Road Trip, and Top Gear, The Perfect Road Trip 2. Um, I do really like The Perfect Road Trip. Yeah, quite good, and really do like Top Gear, and Jeremy Clarkson's quite good as well, so that is The Perfect Road Trip, and then here's The Perfect Road Trip 2, which I haven't watched yet, but I'm looking forward to doing so, so that is those of the Top Gear DVDs. Next up we have a couple of animated stuff, beginning with Sponge Bob Squarepants, Sponge Guard on Duty. Um... Yeah, it's overall quite good. I do really like Spongebob as a kid. And then we have Well of a Birthday. Really do like this show. 
very entertaining and then we have Pass of the West so yeah that is the three Spongebob DVDs next up we have Fimbles, let's find the Fimbles and um, one of the last few Fimbles DVDs I have not got but yeah very good so that's that next up we have Volume 8 and Volume 9 of the Mr Bean DVDs yeah, I do really like Mr. Bean as a kid. Uh, some good episodes on here. So, yeah, I really do like it as a kid. So, that is the Mr. Bean DVDs. Next up, we have Batman the Animated Series Volume 2. Uh, I did start watching uh, Disc 2 on this, and so far, so good. I'm really enjoying it. And I featured Volume 1 in my January update from last year. So... Yep. Anyway, some good shows, and I really do like this. Um, I uh, haven't got Volume Three yet because it was fifteen pounds CEX. It's insane, but yeah, at the moment I'll have to not buy it at the moment. So anyway, some good episodes on here. So that is Batman the Animated Series Volume Two. Next up, we have American Dad Volume Nine. It's a three disc set, and so far so good. I'm currently on. Uh, disc 2 so far and I really do like American Dad so yeah that's volume 9 and next up in terms of box sets we have Joey the Complete First Season um, which I have started on this show um, it's a three disc set um, and then yeah disc 1 episodes 1 to 8 side A and side B I've just finished watching these and it's never quite good. Um, yeah, I've just watched uh, disc two of side A uh, so far, and yeah, I really do like these. Joey, a good show to start, and yeah, I really do like it. Spin off from Friends, and yeah, it's quite good. So yeah, that's Joey season one. Next up we have Shameless, the complete third series. Um, yeah, I've got this from CEX for 50p. And seven episodes, so uh, it's a three disc set. Yeah, very nicely and put together. So I really do like Shameless, so... Yep, that's series three of Shameless. Next up we have series three of the Catherine Tate Show. Um, one of the Catherine Tate Show DVDs I was missing. It took me ages to get this, but I finally got it. Um, but I really do like these sketches, such as uh, The Nan in particular, and Lauren Cooper as well. Yeah, I really do like the Catherine Tate Show. So, if you haven't checked it out, definitely do so. Great comedy duo. So, that is the Catherine Tate Show. And the last three DVDs I have to show are all the Doctor Who DVDs. Um... Yeah, I got the third series box set, um, which I grabbed for C except for for four pounds. Um, yeah, do do quite like these stories. Forty two in the Lazarus experiment, great episodes on here. Then we have series four. Yeah, some really good stories on there. Maybe not Forest of the Dead, but let's go. Let's not go that far. And then we have David Tennant's official episodes, and that is the complete specials box set uh, from 2008 to 2009. So, yeah, I probably won't bother getting the Matt Smith or Peter Capaldi or Jodie Whittaker era. Uh, I'm talking about 10. 11th, 12th, and 13th Doctor, of course, uh, because it doesn't really look too adventurous for me. It was very unadventurous. However, this is Russell T. Davis. Cool. But, yeah, I really do like Doctor Who, so that is going to do it for June 2019 of my Blue Rain DVD update. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then be sure to leave a like down below, and until next time, take care, and thank you for watching. Bye!